there are a number of ways that um, our changing world, our changing climate can, is affecting coral. And um, one is that as we overuse fossil fuels, we are changing the temperature of our atmosphere and the, ch and the temperature of our oceans. And for the last seven years, I've been developing the techniques to be able to freeze the germplasm of coral and to put it into a frozen repository where it remains frozen but alive and can be, could be used hundred, hundreds of years in the future if needed to potentially either reseed the ocean or diversify shrinking populations. The reason coral matters globally is because they provide us with enormous ecosystems benefits. Um, they, if you were to take, collect all the coral reefs, like all these small reefs throughout the world, you'd have an area about the size of Bolivia. So they are very tiny, about 0.2% of the Earth's surface, but they are eco-dynamos. And um, they provide nurseries and um, uh, for about 25% of everything that's in the ocean at some point lives on a coral reef. We have so few days a year to do this research, it feels like we, we never have enough time. And we're, the, we're one of the few labs in, in the world that are working on this type of research, and we still haven't created enough in terms of the actual practical banks. And so it's one thing to just do the science, but it's another to actually make something, and then it's another to train. And we're still so far behind, and yet every year we're seeing more and more destruction of our reefs.